And in 1996, he gave me my first job at Crystal. One more time. God's love, Mario. And he gave me the queen of my life. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. From the temple. Uh-oh. You sure did. She was beautiful. I'm sitting behind her. And she was awesome. And the thing about it was, when she started praising God, it had me crying then, it got me crying now. <laughs> I told Mama Clinton the other day, I said, Mother, uh, you need to pray for me because I'm in love, I'm messed up. She said, after 27 years, you ought to be in that something together by now. <laughs> but I thank God for that queen. We met in March, we were on our first date in June, we was married. Come out here, God glory. Glory. Again. God so love Mario. That we was we purchased our first house. See, that may not mean nothing to you all, but from coming from behind the wall, that was a lot. From good shepherd realtors. Come on again. The God so love Mario. That I was appointed in 1999 to the Tennessee Community Board by the governor. Come on, say it again. The God so love Mario. I received, we opened up our first business, Southwest Home Service, one of the largest minority housing company in the United States. Our clientele is like the NBA players, judges, lawyers, and all that kind of stuff. That may not mean nothing to you, but coming from behind the wall, being cast out and told you weren't gonna ever come back out, then God raised you to allow people to serve you. Matter of fact, I was down, my God, let me tell you about God, my goodness. I was invited to a judge, uh, they would have a program downtown, and there was all these judges, and I was there. And the man who prosecuted me, I said, man, take a picture of me. I heard so. He still didn't know who I was. It was so long ago. Come on, tell me again. Not only did he allow us to open up our business, he gave us our first start in the year 2020, 2002. Come on, say it again. Not only did he give us our daughter, he allowed us to become pastor of a church. Come on. He gave us another son named Jamie. Come on, one more time. Me and my baby sat side to side and got our master's degree in Christian counseling. Come on. And we were certified from Florida, from the state, to be adventure marriage and counseling and marriage. We counsel people all over the United States. Come on, say. Then not only did we became uh, an imprisonment, we've been doing imprisonment for 20 some years. And I'm telling you, and I'm not tired yet. Amen. Uh, are you with me? Yes. I'm talking about God. Come on, come on, one more time. God has a love Mario. He done gave me the peace that passes all understanding. Come on, one more time. God has a love Mario. God not only gave me the peace, but he sanctified me. Come on. God has a love Mario. Now God is working in a support group. You got Pastor Derek right there. We are the ex Pastor Riley, Pastor, all the pastors come together. And we are coming together, we're doing a support group. Let me tell y'all something. Come on now. Mama Clemens has spoke life into me. How many know I was able to go like I've never been before? Come on, say one more time. Yeah, but God's gonna love Mario. He don't allow me to set my wife up. She won't have to ever work again. Come on. Yeah, hallelujah. Come on. Come on. One more time. God's gonna love Mario. God loved me so much until he allowed me to take care of my mom. My mom is being ready. She don't even know if I'm there or not. I don't, if I don't have a voice, as long as I got a V. Come on, say it one more time. That's the love, Mario. One more time. That's the love, Mario. And he blessed me with my daughter right there, T.L. <laughs> She's at the University of Memphis. Getting her special degree. And I want to tell you this here, that God so loved me that in 1996, right before she was born, he reunited us with our children. And my heroes, and I'm gonna say this here because I got to sit down, but my heroes is my children. They found my three children in an attic, have been to school, been through all kind of abuse. But how many know I prayed? I was behind the wall praying. I was behind the walls tired. 
out behind the wall serving God's people. I'm telling you, you're talking about missionary journey. Even when it came to get me into my time for you to go up there and take it and I go to the parole board. I was so stuck on ministering to men that they had to send an officer to escort me because God had always spoken to them I was free. <laughs> I was worried about the parole board. But I need to know if God, if God set you free, you're free. Yeah. free. Anybody in the house that been free? Yeah. But I want you to tell you that they told them in foster care, they said, if you find my dad, he wants me. And God allowed my baby to come back home. Now my oldest baby, who did not go to uh, school at all, but she went back and got her GED. She went back and got some college. Then she owned her own business. My second baby, she went back and got her GED. She got her college degree. She done opened and closed over 29 stores throughout the United States. I'm talking about God. Glory! Hallelujah! You think I don't give God the glory? Yeah. You think I don't love God? Yeah. God, because he first loved me. Yeah. And let me tell y'all about the temple. Y'all treated me real good. Yeah. Oh, Elvis, stand, there you go. Sister Ruth stand, and, and my 40th year birthday, they came together and they celebrated me. I said, my God, my God, my God. So I want y'all to know I love you all. And one more time. God the love Mario. Now, if you believe God loves you, come on and give him a praise. Yes. Come on and give him a praise. Thank God. And, and one more thing. I'm going to tell you something. Say it one more time. God the love Mario. I'm going blind in one eye, but how many know I can see the kingdom even bright? Yes. God loves you, Mario. Come on and give God anyway. 